Welcome to Recharge with Richardson, five minutes of hope and inspiration every Monday and Thursday. And now, here is today's episode. Welcome to another episode of Recharge with Richardson. Uh, we're just so honored to have you tune in uh, with us uh, for these few moments in God's Word together. And I really hope that you do find them to be encouraging and inspirational in your life. Today, I want to continue with studying about trust and its importance in our lives. I've called today's episode, The Benefits of Trust, Part 1. So there'll be more coming in another installment here. But today... I want to emphasize that trust in God, as we've talked in our earlier episodes, is not just about salvation and about spiritual benefits and spiritual things. There is actually There are actually measurable positive outcomes for us physically, emotionally, and socially, in addition to the spiritual piece. And so I want to begin today with a couple of very powerful verses that show us how trust promotes emotional health in our lives, trusting God. From Proverbs 16 and verse 20, it says, he who heeds the word uh, wisely will find good, and whoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. And then in Psalm 28 and verse 7, it says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song, I will praise him. Now, so first of all, from Proverbs and Psalms, these two verses, we realize that trusting God makes us what? Happy, gives us joy. David says he's going to sing and rejoice, and Solomon said, you know, if we trust in God, we're happy. And so that's what the Bible says, and, and, and medical research actually backs up God's Word. Every study that compares how religious people are with how they feel about life shows that the more religious a person is, the happier they are. Isn't that interesting? That as, 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 the, as researchers look and, and talk with people about how they feel about life and, and what's going on in it, the more religious someone is, the happier they are. Now, here's something else. In Psalm 56 and verse 11, the Bible says this. It says, in God, I have put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Do you hear the confidence that David's expressing in that verse? In God, I've put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? And so second of all, not only does trusting God make us happy, but second of all, trusting God gives us confidence. It overcomes our fear. Wow. When we put our trust in God, we do not need to be afraid of anything man can do to us or whatever the world's going on in the world. Isn't that an awesome promise to be able to rely on and, and, and trust in? Again, I want to just mention that research shows that faith, which is trust in God, is the best coping mechanism for dealing with stressful life events, even the death of a loved one. One of the most serious things that, that we can have humanly experience, that trust in God, faith, is the best coping me mechanism for that very thing. Now, I want to share with you one more Bible verse in, in our time together today. Isaiah 26 and verse 3, it says, You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Third of all, trusting God gives us peace. First of all, it gives us happiness. Second of all, it gives us confidence. And third of all, it gives us peace. That's in another emotional uh, outcome that, that's good. Rather than being depressed and discouraged, we're at peace. The Bible says when we trust God, we can remain in that place of perfect peace. For example, the results of over 60 different studies show that people who are more religious have 84% lower rates of suicide. Really? 
that's hugely significant. When you realize that from 1950 to 1990, there was about a 400% rise in teen suicide in the US. And now with COVID and everything that particularly our younger generations are feeling emotionally uh, going through this pandemic, uh, we're still digesting the data and that's still coming in, but it, 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 it seems and it's suggesting that it's even worse than that than those statistics I just shared with you, that it's uh, teen suicide and, and, and young adults has just skyrocketed. And, and um, what I want to just let you know here today is that trusting God gives people the peace to avoid that. I know that's one of the things that's helped me get through this pandemic with as much uh, emotional health as I have. And I can really thank God for that. And so I want to wrap up today by, by, by just saying this. Our emotional health is put light years ahead by trusting God. And so I have this question for you. Where do you need some peace in your life? Or where do you need some confidence in your life? Or where do you need some joy in your life? What circumstances or challenges are you facing? that's stressing you out, and that's making you anxious or uncertain or discouraged, robbing you of joy. Choose to trust God with that very thing. Choose to place it in his hand and let it go and say, look, it's beyond what I can humanly do. I've done as much as I can. Now I have to trust God with the rest. So lay it at the feet of Jesus. Trust God with it and experience the emotional well-being and relief that he will give you and wants to give you. Because, after all, remember this, no matter what the circumstances you might be facing in your life, God's got that, and God's got you. Thank you for joining us for Recharge with Richardson. Don't forget to join us for our next episode. And until then, may God fill you with joy and peace and hope.